Hey, what's going on guys? I'm from a liquid and I have here another Borderlands 3 legendary guide for you guys. But this isn't going to be a normal guide. Instead, I'm going to show you guys how to get the most overpowered grenade in Borderlands 3. Like seriously, this thing is a goddamn monster. Even on Mayhem Mode 3, this will literally tear apart everything. Bosses, mobs, badasses, anointed enemies, you name it, and this thing will obliterate them. It is stupidly strong, and it is the reoccurring hex. Its red text is Keeper of the Stars, I Hope to Never Find, and it's also an Atlas Grenade. Now, what makes this thing really, really powerful is just how many grenades it spawns. So... It splits into two grenades in flight for me, so that's two grenades straight off the bat, yeah? And then each of those spawns three Merv grenades for a total of six grenades, but that's not all. Each of these grenades is going to do a like laser beam, a little like Zane Sentinel, which will just continuously melt enemies. And look at that damage, 2,726 damage radiation a second, along with 1,100 damage on its own. So that is pretty insane damage and like the actual beam itself is just continuously going. Now unfortunately I did get radiation which is probably the worst element in the game. I really really wanted something like shock or like fire. Especially for Moe's I really really want a fire. If I could get this in a fire element then this would be just batshit insane. It would melt everything for me. So, let's take a look at how it actually functions, shall we? Now, as you can see below my XP bar, I am on Mayhem Mode 3. And just watch this. It's like, look at that, man. Everything's melting straight down. Look at all those critical hits as well. The criticals are from uh, one of my Moe's abilities, which lets grenades get crits. But just look at this. It is just absolutely destroying them, including the badass over there. I mean, it's like, just look at this, guys. You can just throw a couple of grenades, keep moving, and everything will still die. Just keep an eye on my XP bar. And look at that. See, XP. And I'm just I'm just throwing a couple of grenades while I'm still moving. So it's like, you can technically... Like, you, this could be really, really good for farming methods. You know, like, you're running to your farming spot. Just throw a couple of grenades out at the enemies along the way for even more XP. Giving you a nice leg up and also improving your XP per hour. Like, this thing is just... It's that insane. It is something I highly, highly recommend for literally every character. Now, obviously, I'm playing as most, so I do get critical hits with it. But imagine playing as someone like uh, like Zane, where you know your Sentinel's dropping one of these every ten seconds. You're using this with uh, the Digi clones, something like that. Like this will just obliterate massive amounts of enemies very, very quickly. It's also really, really good against bosses. There is one downside to it, however. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the same on PC, but on console at least, as soon as you start getting a few out there, simply because of how many moves that they all spawn, it will really start kicking up the lag. And especially against, like, a, say, a large boss enemy, once you get, like, four or five normal grenades thrown, you know, I mean, that's going to be, like, 20 to 30 moves, that is. And once you get that many moves all using their energy beams, it will really start kicking up the uh, lag and delay. And can even actually freeze the screen for a few seconds, which uh, did actually keep happening to me on uh, Grave Ward. So, how do you get this absolute monstrosity? Well, you just go to Athenus, where I am right now. Which is just here where the fork in the road is. You can either go right along the bridge for the uh, last area. Or you can head left along this little path here. As if you were going towards the cemetery and that. Go up these little stairs here that I've just gone up. And then on the left there's a little vault up. Head on up here to find the Super Bro. And all you have to do is simply kill him. And he will drop it. Because this is a world drop legendary. Now... You can actually go a few kills without getting it, you know I mean, that's just the nature of world drops. However, it is a pretty decent drop chance personally. I've had three of them so far and I got all three within the past, I want to say like 40 minutes. It really doesn't take too long to get a good one of these. 
But that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button for more Borderlands free content. As always, though, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.